everyone, this is Stephanie with Market. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to navigate through your phone app. In the upper left corner, there's a menu that will tell you what version you currently have installed. You can see the information in My Business that you've entered when creating your account. Settings will take you to every menu that you have available through your phone app to make changes. My Account, from this drop down menu, you can see account details, any cards you have on file, payment gateways, this is for your online payments that you have set up from your desktop version, subscription, and then your membership pricing. You can always press the more button and have other items like offline sync, location tracking, and most importantly, log out. It's important to log out every now and again just to make sure that your app remains running smoothly. Now I'm going to show you one of the menus so that we can go over the different icons as you'll see these repeated throughout the app. In your estimate settings, in the upper left corner you'll see a back arrow to take you to the previous page. You'll have a magnifying glass as a search icon. Your gear icon will take you to settings if that's available for this particular menu. If you do make changes on anything, just make sure that you are choosing the arrow in the upper right corner to save. And then we also have to the right, this is how you're going to be sorting your different information based on that menu. And finally at the bottom, you have a circle with a plus button. You're going to choose this in order to start creating anything new from those menus. So those are these icons that you're going to be seeing reappear throughout the menus. Estimates, work orders, and invoices are set up the same with those menus. Anything new that you want to create, you're just pressing the button in the bottom right corner to begin and filling out that information. On this menu, in the upper right corner, you have a chat bar. So if your employees are trying to reach you or you've been talking with your customers, you can press that and go to that conversation. We also have Dashboard, which has a basic overview of what is going on in your business. You can just slide this left or right to view the different information. Expense, I'm sorry, Route Planner. If you have jobs scheduled, you can press this from this area and see where your job is at what time. You can also get there from the schedule icon by pressing this black routes button. From here, we have expenses. You can sort your expenses or create new expense categories and settings, or choose which kind of expense you want to add. We also have customers. If you need to add a new customer, you can just fill out this information. If they have additional service addresses, just press this green plus icon in order to add that additional information. And then, like always, the check mark in the upper right corner to save. Going back to the main menu, we have this big button on the bottom for support. You can press this at any time and send a message to us. We'll be able to get that even if it's after hours and answer any questions that you might have. From here, the more button will take you to a few additional things. We have reports, which will allow you to see your time log reports. You can manage your employees from here. You can also make a collage based on pictures that you've taken or uploaded to your phone. Cost estimator. This will allow you to make an estimate based on these different categories. You'll enter the prompts and it will give you an idea of what you should be charging for that area. Virtual estimator will pull up an area of the house and allow you to take measurements and get an over idea of like the square footage for that property. And then we have clock in and then marketing. So this is just an overview of really quick how to use our phone app. There's lots more in-depth in tutorials on our help page at help.market.com. If you have any other questions, please let us know. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.